This is the Yankee Fork of the Salmon River in central Idaho, near Preacher's Cove. It's been highly impacted by historic dredge mining and timber harvest. Those impacts included removal of streamside timber, which has started to regrow, but has not yet been recruited to the stream. Also, the now flume-like stream transports wood through the area rather than retaining it. The result is a lack of wood in the stream and therefore a lack of fish habitat normally associated with wood. At low water, some boulder habitat is available to small fish, but wood is almost completely absent. The objective of this Preacher's Cove project was to create resting and spawning areas for migrating adult salmonids and concealment cover for juvenile salmonids during winter and summer. My name is Matt Green. I work with Trout Unlimited. I'm a project manager and we're here at the Yankee Fork of the Salmon River. Down below us is uh, the Preacher's Cove project that we did. We implemented in the summer of 2014. Uh, the Yankee Fork has had a lot of impacts from mining and timber harvest dating way back to the late 1800s when they were in here placer mining. Obviously they took a lot of the easiest, easier wood that they could in the, in the valley here. Um, that's had a large impact in the amount of wood that's been able to be recruited to the stream. So one of the big challenges for uh, this project was actually getting our hands on some large wood. So we actually had to kind of go out of basin and up towards Stanley to get some some really big fur um, that we were able to use for the project. Large wood was added to the stream by burying trees into the bank or bracing trees against large rocks. All in-stream excavation took place behind a wing wall current deflector and a fish block net. One log was placed between existing boulders using a track hoe and a loader. Neither operator could see the tree. Stay there and down. Okay, can you push it towards us just a little bit? Downstream. I 
Chinook salmon quickly made use of the new habitat, where project partners hope they will remain until they begin their journey to the ocean the following spring. While most agree that fish habitat in the Preacher's Cove area is in short supply, the real test is whether fish will remain there during the winter when quality habitat is even more important. And to determine that, fisheries professionals must take a look. Because juvenile salmonids hide during the day and the very habitat created during this project, they are impossible to count. However, during the night, they leave their hiding places to feed in the open water nearby. With air temperatures near zero and water temperatures at chilly 32, Snorkelers enter the water to see if the fish are there. Yankee Fort, because it's been so degraded over the years, has lacked a lot of the complexity that fish need. So by bringing in this large wood, we're finding some fairly amazing response on juvenile fish. Even in the dead of winter, snorkeling surveys have shown that these juvenile fish are utilizing these new, newly restored areas in remarkable and, and quite surprising numbers. So. Proof's in the pudding, fish like it. 